So guys, I am back on Fortnite. Yes, I am playing Fortnite. And there is very, very, very good reason for this. Fortnite Season 9 is ace. So far I am having an actual blast. COD's newest update is really lacklustre. The content isn't great. You know, there's 50 tiers now, and out of those 50 tiers, there's probably only about six items I actually want, the LMG and a couple other bits, but really, you should be grinding and grinding for loads of stuff you want, and pretty much most of it is just stickers and trash, you know what I mean? And Fortnite, and you cannot deny Epic, continue to supply amazing seasons, amazing content drops, amazing extras in the game just they're really really good at what they do and you may not even like fortnite but you cannot deny that epic games continues to keep their game up to date and bringing the fans back my main problem with cod currently is that i'm just not going to grind through 50 tiers to get to the tiger shark lmg because i want the tiger shark lmg i'll go on every day and i'll get my tier skip and that's pretty much about it then i just log off because it's the easiest way to just get up those tiers and get to tier 50 so i can get the actual weapon i want and I'm not going to sit on the game and grind and grind and grind, but I'm not really even having that great a time playing the game or getting anything I really want along the way. You know, I'm not going to grind 46 tiers out with continuous gameplay when most of it is just stickers and crap. And Fortnite Season 9 is just brilliant. Everything in there is cool. The new pickaxes are cool. The new skins are cool. The emotes are cool. The map update is cool. But like, Everything is just so fun, and I haven't played Fortnite in months and months, I probably didn't even play Season 7 or Season 8 really, and I've come back on, everything's changed, I'm like, whoa, there's a volcano, whoa, there's a new Tilted Towers, whoa, there's a new Retail Row, I think it is, yeah, Retail Row Mega Mall, and I'm just having a great time playing it, and when I get killed by somebody in Fortnite and I lose my game, whereas in COD I'd usually get mad because it's some... I'd like to say crap, but sometimes it's not. But sometimes you do just get killed by a kid who's sat in the corner waiting for you to jump in a building and start looting and not think about him being in the corner. Whereas in Fortnite, I'm usually getting killed by someone who's just of a higher skill level than me because they can build better than me or edit better than me. And I'm completely okay with that. And I'm not getting rage induced because of that because they've sat there and they've ground and ground and ground until they've gotten that good. And fair enough, they've tapped me, I'm dead, and I've got to go play again for another 100, you know? And it really sucks, to be honest, because I was really looking forward to Operation Spectre Horizon in Black Ops. And it's come out, and it was good for the first couple of days, and it brought me back to play a little bit. But now I'm just not even interested. I, as I said, I go on the game, I get my tier skip, I'll probably go on Alcatraz, which is one of the only positive things that they've brought back about the game, because they took it out for whatever reason. I get a couple kills, I play a game. I die or I win and then I log off the game and I go straight on Fortnite or I've even been playing Fallout 76 for God's sake. What, what does that say? Do you know what I mean? And it sucks as I said because I was really looking forward to the map update with the Hydro Dam blowing up and Spectre being in the game and the contraband stream and the new weapons and there's not as, this proves my point i'm trying to talk about content and there just isn't all that much to talk about well there is stuff to talk about but most of it's not interested most of it's sticker sets or sprays and it's just you know I, I i need stuff that i want to grind for and treyarch you need to deliver that because i know it's not just me in the community that's disappointed about this i see some of the bigger youtubers saying that they're going to take breaks from cod and such because there's just not enough content and the current state of the game kind of sucks and we all were really looking forward to this new patch and it's really really sad to see that it's probably only a week's worth of play and that's it there's other games that are supplying so much more like fortnite and epic games who are consistently add to their game daily if not weekly and it just brings you back on to play and have fun and it sucks that COD's not in this sort of state currently. And this applies for games like Apex Legends as well. Like, Apex is a really good game, and Respawn, you've done a really good job with that, ETC. But the, your Battle Pass just didn't hold enough content for me, and I've already made a video on that. Like, Apex and Call of Duty are kind of in the same boat right now. I think Call of Duty is a bit more ahead of Apex, but it's the same thing. Apex has released their Battle Pass. Most of the content is just trash. I, I bought it, I played for about four tiers, and I've not played the game since. Actually, in fact, I've uninstalled the game since. Not even spent any time on it, not even bothered with the Battle Pass, and that sucks because I spent money on that. And then Call of Duty, even though it's a free update, is the same, you know? You've released content, and some of the content, maybe about five or ten parts of it is good, and Spectre's cool, but besides that, you've really not got much on offer. There's a melee weapon, a couple skins I want, the Tiger Shark, 
and that's it. And I go on Fortnite and I want the new pickaxes, I want the new emotes, I want the new music items, I want the new pets, I want all the evolvable, selectable style skins, and the game's just giving me a lot of good vibes right now, and I'm having fun playing it. And I didn't think since Call of Duty came out I'd say that again, because as soon as COD came out I was like, right, this is it. I'm, I'm on here for the rest of my life, and now I've switched straight back over, reinstalled Fortnite, and I haven't come off it for probably the past four or five days going on a week now. So I guess the moral of this video for me on a personal note is that games, full paid games especially, just aren't evolving quick enough with other free to play or paid for games. Like, Call of Duty is a really good game, Black Ops 4 is a really good game, I don't slate Treyarch for that whatsoever, I've had loads of fun on it, I've spent days of my life on it. And it's just now that I'm coming to a point where I just have no interest in the game. And it sucks because we're probably only about halfway through its lifespan. Well, maybe not even halfway through its lifespan. Treyarch will probably try and keep the game alive for the next three years, as they usually do with the Black Ops game since Black Ops 3. But we're halfway through its year-long lifespan. And there's just not enough interest in the game for me to continue playing on a daily, regular, hourly basis. And Fortnite is exceeding as a free game to keep me intrigued, involved, wanting to play, complete my challenges, earn stuff. I even bought the Battle Pass and I can't remember the last time I bought a Battle Pass. It was probably Season 6, yeah. As I said, I hadn't played Season 7 or Season 8. And they're, they're making me want to spend my money and play and it just sucks that Treyarch can't do that and that Call of Duty is a paid-for experience and that Fortnite is a free-to-play experience and that Epic Games managed to hold their game up a lot more than Treyarch do currently. But that's just my opinion. Don't think I'm sitting here nattering at you going, stop playing Call of Duty, go play Fortnite, because that's not what I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to say is that Treyarch have kind of left Black Ops in a bit of a spat right now and I don't have any interest and I've reinstalled Fortnite out of curiosity the other day and I'm having an actual blast playing it and there's tons of stuff to do and it's got my, my head wired in the game right now and that's really really good for Epic especially and for me because I've got some intrigue to play a game and I was really really struggling recently with motivation and Fortnite's kind of brought that back for me and of course I'm going to sit there and play the game that I want to play and that I'm having fun playing and if that game currently is Fortnite rather than Call of Duty then so be it I'm not going to sit there and play a game that I'm not thoroughly enjoying to my heart's content and since Fortnite has me wired up to it right now and COD's a bit dead then I'm going to be sat on Fortnite for as long as it takes for me to be bored again you know so yeah I guess that kind of finishes off my rant or discussion or whatever you want to call it Fortnite's going to be taking the main seat for me for the minute I'm going to be playing that until I burn it out or the content's dry which it probably won't be because as I said Epic Games are really good at their job in keeping you entertained and COD's going to be taking a little bit of a backseat I'm still going to play COD, that's not me saying I'm not going to play COD, it's just how am I meant to grind multiplayer or blackout when there's really nothing I want to grind for, and that's not down to me, that's kind of down to Treyarch sadly. But I will still be releasing my Best of Blackout 2 episode, I'm editing it as I make this video, I'm really looking forward to showing you that, and I've said that for ages, but I've just wanted to compose it of some really really good clips from In Blackout, especially Alcatraz, because it's an Alcatraz special, and it should be a really really good watch for you guys as and when I do release it. I've got an idea in my head for a video on Fallout, the game series, which is one of my favourite game series of all time, on how Fallout 3, New Vegas, and even 4 are much, much better Fallout games than 76 is, even though I've been playing 76 recently and I'm quite enjoying it. It's still not really a Fallout game. Where If you've played Fallout 3, New Vegas, or 4, you'll completely understand what I'm saying, and I'm really looking forward to making that video as well. And yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. So if you've enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, sub to the channel if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitch at ZephyrPlayin over there. Follow me on Twitter at ZephyrPlayin over there. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I've enjoyed making this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you in the next one, whatever that is. Peace out. Love you all. See you later.